Hi, I'm Phil Needham with Needham Ag Technologies. Almost every spring and fall we get calls from growers or emails from growers telling us that they've got too many seeds on top of the ground or seeds at varying seeding depths down from the soil surface and they want to know what they can do to improve that. In most instances the problem is caused by one of three things. Number one, their seed boots are highly worn at the bottom so once the seed boots begin to wear upwards at the bottom, then they need to be replaced. Oftentimes their seed tabs are worn. We have the vanilla seed tab that's almost twice as thick as the factory John Deere ones, plus it's tapered to match the shape of the seed slot and rigid enough to hold seeds down so the V8 firming wheel can press them down. The other challenge that often causes seeds to be at inconsistent depths or on top of the ground is vertical play up down in the seed boot. This is a Needamag 90 series seed boot with the bushing kit at the top that eliminates almost all of the up down travel. But many older drills that have been around a while, that have been over a lot of acres, have upwards of one inch of vertical up down play when measured at the back of the seed boot, just like we're showing here. And when you put drills with worn seed boot mounting holes, especially into no-till fields, the up-down tr travel changes the trajectory of the seed, and as the boot raises up, it also often causes seeds to be flown out or, or thrown out of the, of the seed slot, especially on air seeders when you're propelling the seeds out by air. So this video is going to talk a little bit more about the bushing kit, and what we need to do to install the seed boot bushings and how to drill out the hole in John Deere uh, seed boots. So if your seed boots are worn at the bottom like we described a few moments ago or you've got a lot of up-down play then you'd be advised to change the seed boots or drill out the seed boot lugs to use their bushing kit. Most people find that their seed boots are worn at the bottom like we described so if you need new seed boots, Needham Ag has 50 series extended wear boots in addition to 90 series extended wear boots. And remember the 90 series fit the 60 series as long as you swap out the steel tube in the top of the seed boot. So these are extended wear seed boots. They're chrome alloy, a material very comparable to the John Deere extended wear 90 series boots. These come pre-drilled with a pair of Holes for the bushing kit, okay, so larger holes with larger lugs, wider lugs, stronger lugs. Basically they incorporate the bushing kit, which is on the 60 and the 90 series, a 716 bolt with two 58 OD bushings that go over the bolt. These are hardened stainless steel bushings to eliminate corrosion. So you basically install one of the bushings in each of the lugs Using a grade 9 bolt that we supply, you pull these bushings tight against the arm. And then the boot pivots around the bushings. So the boot can pivot side to side, but there's almost no play up and down. So it's a really good fix. So if you need new seed boots, we have new seed boots. If you want to drill out existing 50, 60 or 90 series seed boots, you have that option. We have drill bits available to accomplish that task. We've got the carbide tip drill bits. These are a cheap option. As long as you've got a small amount to drill out or you're just drilling out the 50, 60 or standard wear 90 series boots, these work really well. Now if you've got 90 series extended wear seed boots, those are pretty hard to drill out. And as long as you've got a heavy drill press, one that weighs in excess of five or 600 pounds minimum, we have solid carbide drill bits, drill bits, four flute drill bits, and as long as you've got a heavy enough drill press, preferably with a lubrication system, these are the drill bits we recommend. We transfer these to growers at our cost because we buy them in large quantities as a service to the growers, but these re work really well to drill out extended wear seed boots, and a lot of growers and machine shops have drilled out literally hundreds of boots with one drill bit. So here's some more information on drilling out extended wear John Deere seed boots with the, with the solid carbide drill bit. 
So when you're drilling out extended wear seed boots, it's critical that you hold the seed boot tight. In this example, the grower built this little fixture and he presses the seed boot over that one inch bar stock at the bottom, just as you see here, and that boot is, is held securely with a 3 8 ball in the bottom that's used to hold the seed boot in place. And then that piece of all thread at the top holds it in place. Here's a different drill press, similar principle, this time he's using a heavy vise to hold the seed boot very still to eliminate vibration and some blocks under the left hand side that you can see here holding the seed boot tight and at the right angle. So this, you don't have to use these exact setups, these are just some ideas to help you hold the seed boots tight. Whichever of these methods you're using, you need to use lubrication. And here the machinist is just squirting every 10 or 15 seconds some oil onto the hole as he's drilling it out. This is a machine shop close to us that's literally drilled out thousands of seed boots. So if you want somebody to drill out extended wear John Deere seed boots, this machine shop will do that. You can contact us for more information. They've basically built this fixture that holds a right and a left extended wear John Deere 90 series boot, as you can see, in place. And once they tighten that nut in the middle, it holds them tightly in place, uh, as you can see here. They use the solid Needamag carbide drill bit and they turn it around 200 RPM with a feed rate of around half an inch per minute at a 200 RPM speed. And they're using water-based coolant in this example. So here you can see them drilling out the first seed boot in this example. Once they've drilled out the first one, they'll side shift over and drill out the other seed boot and then they can take both seed boots back out of the, of the fixture again. So here you can see them drilling out the second seed boot using the water-based coolant as we've discussed. Again, 200 RPM is what we recommend with a feed rate of around half of an inch per minute. That's what we, what we use in most examples. So I hope you found this video useful and interesting. If you liked it, feel free to click the like button at the top of the screen and also subscribe. If you have any additional questions, you can visit our website, look at our other videos on YouTube, or call or email us. Thanks for watching.